Hey, what's going on? I got this dry erase board that I write stuff on. And I got magnets. See the magnets? They're like trucker magnets stuck to that steel door right there. And uh, I had a bunch of stuff written on it, and I had scratched things out as I got them done. And the thing was getting to be kind of a mess where I wrote all over it. And I said, well, I'm going to take and make another set of notes so I can clean that board up. Well, I got the board cleaned up, and I just remembered about something that I meant to do quite a while ago. Uh, a long time ago, I did a video on the fractions on a tape measure and finding center and stuff. And I did it on a piece of soap, uh, on a piece of steel, and I was marking with soapstone, and it wasn't very visible. And since I got that thing cleaned up, it made me think that... I should do it on that. And since I got them magnets, I could pull that off there. So let's do that. Let's knock this video out. Okay, so the first part of this is just understanding what the heck's going on here. What are all these little numbers for? Now, obviously we know what 10, 12, 13 is, but we're talking about the numbers between an inch. Uh, you know, all these little marks. What's that, what's that stuff all about? Well, if we blow it up a little bit bigger and we say it's an inch from there to there, okay? This distance. This is how, this how you can think about it is this is one part of one part. So if we want to find out where 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 is the center between this we go to the center we're just we're just taking this one part and we're breaking it into two parts we're taking one part and we're breaking it into two parts that's why this is a half this is a half half an inch cuz we took one part broke it into two parts okay the bottom number doubled, and it's as simple as that. Just because we went from one inch to a half inch doesn't make it any difference than going from three quarters of an inch to three eighths of an inch. When we're finding the center, or we're looking for halfway point of, of, of these fractions, the bottom number just doubles. That's why, you know, if we want to know what half of this half is, you know, this, this mark is a quarter of an inch. Cause, cause we've taken and we've split it now into four parts and that's why this one over here is going to be three quarter. See, we've got one part. We split it into four parts. One, two, three, four parts. So one of these parts is a quarter. Three of these parts is three quarters. So let's keep going. What's half of a quarter? I hope you're saying it's an eighth. Because if you, if you said it was an eighth, then you're starting to smell what I'm stepping in here. Okay? Because all we're doing now is we're taking this and we're splitting it into eight parts. That's why this is three eighths. One, two, three eighths. This is five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. And this is seven eighths. Okay, let's do it again. We're going to split it again. We're starting to get to what all these marks are on our tape measure because our tape measure goes in sixteenths. What's half of one eighth? I'm hoping you're saying that it's one sixteenth. That's why this is three sixteenths. And this is five sixteenths. And this is seven sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. Eleven sixteenths. Thirteen sixteenths. And fifteen sixteenths. Okay, so when we want to find do do our find center and and stuff with our fractions we got to just remember that this is just being broke into the number of parts that's why 
Half of seven eighths is seven sixteenths. See how that bottom number just doubled? It's the same as when you when you're looking at uh, one part of one inch and you break it into one part or uh, two parts of one inch. The bottom number doubled. Hey, half of three quarters is three eighths. Half of three eighths is three sixteenths. If we wanted to know what half of three sixteenths is, we'd know that that was three thirty seconds because the bottom number just doubled. Now, we don't have thirty seconds on our tape measure. And for most construction and fabrication purposes, using the sixteenth is plenty good. Now, I do when I'm measuring and, and cutting things, I often will sort of use the 30 seconds but what i do is i'm just figuring plus or minus if i measure something and it's a little bit more than three sixteenths i'll call it three sixteenths plus uh but you know for the most part with fabrication and construction a sixteenth of an inch is is plenty accurate so i just hope that gives you a better understanding of of what these fractions are you know uh, and, and how simple it is to say that half of five eighths is five sixteenths. Um, let's look at this a little further and just look at some things on trade math in general. Now that we've got this, uh, now that we've got this talked about, and maybe we can go a little more in depth. So I got that cleaned off there, and, and uh, that first part should give us an idea there about uh, finding half of our fractions. And to put that into, into use, uh, let's just give an example of, I just let's say I just measured something that I need to find the center of, and it's 39 and 7 eighths of an inch. So how am I going to do that in my head to mark the center of this thing that I measured that's 39 and 7 eighths? The way I break it down is 30 inches, 9 inches, and 7 eighths of an inch. Well, I can do this in my head. Some of this is pretty easy. Uh, half of 30 inches is 15 inches. Half of 9 inches is 4 and a half inches. And half a seven eighths of an inch is seven sixteenths of an inch. Well, it's also pretty easy to say that if I add these together like I need to do, I'm going to get 19 and a half inches. This is where there's another little thing I do in my mind that we might want to talk about. Because at this point, I need to add seven sixteenths to a half. Well, let me show you the way I think of that. I think of half as kind of a number. Whenever you do so many fractions and you end up with numbers like nine that lead you to numbers like four and a half, then this half kind of becomes a number because you need to add a fraction to it. And the way I do that, now we just looked at, and I just laid out in, in the first part, I just laid out this entire inch. And I did it horizontally. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say that it's a half inch from here to there. That means this is our quarter. This is our eighth. This is our three eighths. This is our one sixteenth. This is our three sixteenths. This is our five sixteenths. And this is our 7 sixteenths. So now, half inch from there to there. Now I'm going to take this part from over here, and I'm going to imagine it down here. So my half is here, and my full inch is here. That means that right here is 3 quarter. And here is 5 eighths. Here is 7 eighths. This is nine sixteenths, eleven sixteenths, thirteen sixteenths, 
and 15 sixteenths. Well, the way I have this is kind of the way I think of this second block of fractions in my mind, because in my mind, I think about how one sixteenth and nine sixteenths are sort of cousins because they're one sixteenth of an inch past the number. Three sixteenths and eleven sixteenths are sort of cousins. Because I I just know in my mind that eleven sixteenths is three sixteenths past that half. And when that half becomes a, a number that I gotta work with, I know in my mind that if I gotta add three sixteenths to a half, it's gonna put me at eleven sixteenths. If I've gotta add five sixteenths to a half, it's gonna put me at thirteen sixteenths. In the case with this right here, I've got to add 7 sixteenths to a half. That puts me at 15 sixteenths. See how I'm thinking about that? So our answer, you know, what is half of 39 and 7 eighths? It's 19 and 15 sixteenths. Because I've taken half of 30 is 15 Half of nine is four and a half. That gives me 19 and a half. I need to add my seven sixteenths, which is half of seven eighths, to this half. And when I do that, I get 19 and 15 sixteenths. The reason it's simple to add the seven sixteenths to the half and get 15 sixteenths is because 15 sixteenths is seven sixteenths of an inch past the half. So that's another little way I think of it in my mind when I'm doing this. Now, if we get into really big pieces of iron, uh, long pieces, angle iron, I-beams, things you got to lay out that are really long, sometimes you you end up working in feet. So let's say we have a, a measurement that's, we got an I-beam we're trying to find the center of, and it's 27 foot nine and three quarters of an inch okay now let's go to the way that we find the what a half of this is we got 20 20 foot seven foot nine inch and three quarters of an inch As we break this down, that means half of our 20 foot is 10 foot. Half of our 7 foot is 3 foot 6 inches. Half of our 9 inches is 4 and a half inches. And half of our 3 quarter is 3 eighths of an inch. So this is what we got to put together now. So when we put our 10 foot with our 3 foot 6, we get 13 foot 6 inches. Now we've got to add 13 foot 6 inches to 4 and a half inches. And that's going to put us at 13 foot 10 and 1 half inch. Now we got to add our 3 eighths of an inch to this half an inch. And remember the way we talked about these cousins. Three-eighths of an inch past a half is seven-eighths. So we're at 13 foot 10 and seven-eighths. Just this is some stuff you can look at and think of. It maybe, you know, sometimes when I talk to people about fractions in this way they think well i never thought about it this way i talked to my nephew one time and i was showing him this and he said why didn't they tell me it that way in school well i don't know why i can just tell you that people think about things in different ways and don't finding the center and and breaking down the fractions in this way is just the simplest way for it to exist in my mind you know find your own way but consider everything and hopefully that'll help